It's 10 trivia questions on question mark TV shows and movies. Guess the show or movie from the description. This is Trivia with Buds. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show on another glorious week here. It's April 2022, if you're listening in real time. Or maybe it's 10 years in the future, and you've stumbled across this podcast, and you're like, how did this guy do this for 20 years? Well, I did. And here we are with another new episode for you, or an old episode for you. Uh, Today's episode, all about question mark, TV show, movie titles. Uh, So I will give you a description. You tell me what show or movie we're talking about. That's going to be a fun one. But before we get to that, we have our Geek Out challenges. So Geek Out over trying to name these things. Can you name four films directed by Robert Zemeckis? And two word-based game shows. And two book titles, which feature a masquerade ball. Two book titles in which a masquerade ball appears. And six songs in which the title is not mentioned in the lyrics. And four celebrities who have voiced cartoon TV show characters. Those are your challenges for this intro. We're going to have a bunch of fun. And if you want the fun to spill out of your ears and onto the page, check out my Etsy shop. The link is in the show notes to grab yourself a $7 digital download of my Pop Culture Puzzles Volume 1 book. I would love for you to get that. It's like listening to 23 episodes of this show, but you can write them all down. You can share them with friends. You can print them off. You can use them at your own trivia nights. You can do whatever you want with them for seven bucks. And brand new book coming this summer, another collection of pop pop culture puzzles coming your way. So go grab that one while you can. I have no physical copies left, but I do have those digital downloads and uh, they never end because they're digital. So you can buy as many as you want for as long as you want. We're going to jump into question mark TV shows and movies right now. Here we go. It's question mark TV shows and movies. Number one, this is a movie. A successful psychotherapist loses his mind after one of his most dependent patients, an obsessive compulsive neurotic, tracks him down during his family vacation. Number one, what is that movie title with a question mark in the title? A successful psychotherapist loses his mind after one of his most dependent patients, tracks him down during family vacation. Number one. Number two, a TV show, Tony Maselli, a retired baseball player, becomes the housekeeper of Angela Bauer, an advertising executive in New York. Number two, Tony Maselli, a retired baseball player, becomes the housekeeper of Angela Bauer, an advertising executive in New York. It's a TV show number two. Number three, a TV show, The Misadventures of the Staff of a Retail Floor of a Major UK Department Store. Number three, The Misadventures of the Staff of a Retail Floor of a Major UK Department Store. Number three. And number four, a movie. Two potheads wake up after a night of partying and cannot remember where they parked their ride. Number four, two potheads wake up after a night of partying and cannot remember where they parked their ride. Number four. Number five, a movie. A woman looks back at the past 19 men she's had relationships with in her life and wonders if one of them might be her one true love. Number five, it's a movie. A woman looks back at her past of 19 men she's had relationships with and wonders if one of them might be her one true love. Number six, TV show contestants stay for 10 weeks in a holiday destination to win $1 million and hopefully find love. What is that reality game show? Number six. Number seven, a TV show Christina Applegate plays a woman who suffers from amnesia and is forced to find out who she really is. TV show with Christina Applegate and amnesia. Number seven.
Number eight, a movie. To impress a foxy divorcee, ladies' man Nick offers to take her kids on an extended road trip, unaware of the torture he's in for. Number eight, it's a movie. To impress a foxy divorcee, ladies' man Nick offers to take her kids on an extended road trip, unaware of the torture he's in for. Number nine, TV show. Members of the studio audience suggest ideas for the games and skits that four actors, usually improvisational comics, perform. Number nine, TV show. Members of the studio audience suggest ideas for the games and skits that four actors, usually improvisational comics, perform. Number nine. And number 10, TV. Contestants pursue the international thief as junior detectives who must answer questions about geography. Number 10, it's a TV show. Contestants pursue the international thief as junior detectives who must answer questions about geography. And number 11, your bonus here is a play in a movie. It's a 1962 play and a 1966 movie about a nightcap get-together with marital turmoil. 1962 play, 1966 movie, about some people who have a nightcap get-together with marital turmoil. What is that title? So many questions on question mark TV and movies. We'll be back with the answers after this. We are back with the answers to question mark TV and movies. Let's see if you got all 11 of these correct. Some of them very popular, some of them a little more unique, and maybe you haven't heard of them. We'll see what happens. Number one, movie. A successful psychotherapist loses his mind after one of his most dependent patients, played by Bill Murray, an obsessive compulsive neurotic, tracks him down during his family vacation. What about Bob? Great early 90s movie. What about Bob? Number two, TV, Tony Maselli, a retired baseball player, becomes the housekeeper of Angela Bauer, an advertising executive in New York. Who's the boss? Who is the boss? That is either Tony or Angela, maybe Mona. She might be the boss. Number two. And number three, TV shows, the misadventures of the staff of a retail floor of a major UK department store is, are you being served? Are you being served? I used to fall asleep watching that show at some point, maybe in high school or college. It was on PBS or something. And it's a pretty funny show. Uh, Classic kind of 70s British sitcom. Number three. Number four, two potheads wake up after a night of partying and cannot remember where they parked their ride. Dude, where's my car? I remember seeing that in the year 2000 as the first movie I saw with people from high school. So I was a freshman in high school and uh, me and my friend, I think it was Steve Nelson and two girls. I forget who they were. Sorry, girls. But they were like, hey, we should all go see a movie. And we were only 14 or 15, so we had to get dropped off. But it was Chicago Ridge Movie Theater. It was the first movie I saw as a high school student. Dude, where's my car? It's not the best. Number five, movie. A woman looks back at the past 19 men she's had relationships with in her life and wonders if one of them might be her one true love. What's your number? I've never seen this movie. It's a rom-com of sorts. What's your number? Number six, TV show. Contestants stay for 10 weeks in a holiday destination to win $1 million and hopefully find love. Are You the One is the name of this show. Are You the One? I don't think it's still on, but maybe it is. Number seven, TV show. Christina Applegate plays a woman who suffers from amnesia and is forced to find out who she really is. Samantha Who. Samantha Who. And number eight, a movie. To impress a foxy divorcee, ladies' man Nick offers to take her kids on an extended road trip, unaware of the torture he's in for. Are we there yet with Ice Cube? Are we there yet? Number nine, TV show. Members of the studio audience suggest ideas for the games and skits that the four actors, usually improvisational comics, perform. Whose line is it anyway? Great episode of that with Robin Williams, like kind of a forgotten TV gem. Go try and find that. Whose line is it anyway? Number nine. And number 10, TV show contestants pursue the international thief as junior detectives who must answer questions about geography. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Carmen San Diego, number 10. And the bonus for two points, Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? W-O-O-L-F. A 1962 play, 1966 movie about a nightcap get-together with marital turmoil is Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? And that was a fun episode today. I hope you had fun playing along. I had fun reading the questions to you, as I do each and every day. 
If you like the show, support it on Patreon, patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Got some messages. I have to check here from my friend Kimberly Brown. Thank you so much, Kim. I'm going to check those in just a second, see what you sent me, and appreciate you listening and supporting the show. Patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Your fact of the day is table tennis is China's national sport. If you didn't know that, now you know. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more trivia with buds. Cheers. Cheers.